Let's start with the stock of the day, and I thought we should take a look at Aussie Broadband, which is usually a really favored stock here on the call. In fact, many of our expert guests point to customer reviews and recommendations saying that this is a much loved company, not just in terms of an investment, but uh, users as well. Today though, down uh, by as much as 20, 20 and a half percent as we record this program, on track for its worst day ever if these losses hold until the end of the session. It's down after upping its full year earnings guidance from 27 to 28 million dollars. What it's done is it's actually tightened the estimate range for its full year earnings, and that's before transaction costs, excluding any contribution from over the wire, that acquisition there. It says that gaining mobile only customers has proved challenging and uh, that issues regarding supply of mobile handsets to its customers are continuing. So what are of our experts make of the update? Has Aussie Broadband been treated too harshly today? Is it potentially a bit of a buying opportunity? I think we'll start answering some of those questions with Francesco Destratus from Ord Manette. Francesco, Aussie Broadband. Yeah, not a, not, oh, look, I don't think it was too bad a quarterly update. Um, like you mentioned, they narrowed their their um, their guidance. Uh, you know, the bottom the bottom end of the range they kept the same, and they brought the top end of the range. So, that, you know, from a guidance perspective, it's not going to be. Um, if you're expecting at the top end of the range, it, it won't be as good as as you thought it might be. Um, our analysts have do have a buy recommendation on it. It is under review after today. Um, so trimming the. When you trim that guidance on a on a PE a high PE stock, they're going to get hit pretty hard. So you know it's down what twenty percent, as you said. You know it's on a PE of about sixty seventy times earnings, um, but their earnings gro just because they've trimmed their guidance doesn't mean that growth isn't still there. It's just not as much growth as it might have been. And our analysts, and, and again, they'll be trimming their numbers, but yeah, you know, they got their PE dropping to about twenty three times in the following year and, and into the mid teens the third year. So they're still seeing significant growth. I think this is probably just more of a hiccup in their in their growth side of things. Um, you know, uh, you mentioned the over the wire transaction. Uh, they're seeing that as being on track. Uh, subscribers, they, they're seeing some good growth in their um, uh, broadband subscribers. Um, so, so it's not as if there wasn't any growth there. It's just that it's, it's there's not as much growth. So look, I, I, I'd be patient and just see what the analysts come up with it, with, with it tomorrow. But to me, it looks like over the next week or so, there might be some opportunity to buy in so no rush, no rush, no rush to do so today. No. Great. If you already own it, you'd be holding it. I'd be holding for yeah. sure. So yes. do you think that Aussie, Aussie Broadband is perhaps being treated extra harshly today because of the selling that we've seen in tech? And again, we continue to see a lot of those high growth names kind of come um, under pressure. I think it's probably, if you go back and have a look at the, the days where Aussie Broadband's given an update to the market for the last year minimum, um, they've been fantastic updates. And I, and I think it, um, I think probably half this move is people were just, you know, almost in the routine of expecting that Aussie Broadband always reports fantastic. And as um, as Francesco said, there wasn't really it wasn't that bad. Mm -hmm. So um, I'd be much, I'd be more of a inclined to be buying the dip for sure. Um, I don't think, as I said, we got you know, four four major central banks this week, um, payrolls in another week, and. I don't think you probably necessarily need to be jumping in today, but um, I'd be certainly sort of dollar averaging towards those, uh, around towards that $4 level there that's on the chart. Um, yeah, I, I think, yeah, it's I'd, it's probably just people getting a little bit uh, for sort of, you know, their, the expectations is, the analyst expectations might be one thing, but the market expectation, given it's been such a great buying opportunity to buy it the day before they report every time, um, it's probably, you know, that's probably helped with the selling pressure and on top of the fact that, the, you know, the NASDAQ was down four and a bit percent. So um, just probably unlucky on the day, really. I'd, um, but yeah, look, I'd be, I'd be fairly happy to be sort of dollar averaging. I wouldn't be buying a full clip here at the moment, but, um, you know, you maybe, maybe break it up into four clips and just sort of, um, just sort of nibble away at it. It's, uh, I think Koshi sort of added the buy, hold, sell and nibble. But, oh, uh, <laughs> I might change the rules change today. The rules, yeah, but, um, but that's okay. <laughs> but yeah, no, look, I, I, yeah, it's been very hard to get on this stock for a, quite a while. So I think, you, you know, and utility sector is relatively defensive and it's got a bit of a growth um, element to it as well. So yeah, look, I, I'm, 
I'd be fairly happy to start buying a small amount as of today. So. Okay. The, the other thing go. there is the, the stock's performed extremely well uh, since it's listed. So right. mm. you've probably got a few profit takers coming mm. out yeah. of the woodwork and saying, well, yeah, I've got some really good gains here. Let's take a bit of this off the table just to lock in some gains. So you know, that, that, that 20% fall today, you know, the, the, I think you can look, look through that and look at a, a number of factors are, 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 are putting it through the ringers. Um, as Mark said, you know, mark it down you know, quite substantially as well. Got it. Thank you, guys. That's the stock of the day, Aussie Broadband. Definitely not a, a check it out the window. Just uh, <laughs> got on the watch list for sure as a buy.